Well, go ahead and introduce yourself, gentlemen. I'm Kyle Pfeiffer, vocals and guitar. Same. Roman James, vocals and guitar. You guys are Blacklight District? We are Blacklight District. Now, uh, I remember talking to you on the radio a few years ago. Yep, I remember. And uh, now we're, we're talking in person. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have been up to. I understand you guys have been out with Saving Able fairly recently. We have. Well, that was about a year ago. Um, we did a nice tour with them. Um, our single with me now broke top 40 on the Billboard Rock Chart. Uh, we sold a bunch of records, you know, almost a hundred thousand. Yeah. So uh, it's cool because we had we had a lot of really good momentum going, and as that started to happen, we started getting um, a lot of offers from different labels, managers, things like that. And so what happened is, as those started coming in, our management and label at the time were not too happy about that. So we had a huge falling out with them. There was a lot of. Uh, unpaid dues if you know what I'm saying and someone else collected all the the good times if you know what I mean yeah. so it kind of killed all of our mo momentum we kind of took that went back into the studio so it's this is the first time we've been yeah, on the road I remember I got introduced to you guys through Barry at Rental Label. Right. Yep. He just couldn't say enough good things about you guys. Yeah. You guys were like the next coming of Elvis. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, you guys got on uh, Sirius. Yeah. Yep. I kept hearing you guys all over all the different Sirius yep. channels. Yeah. And then, boom, you were gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, man, that's one of those things where. You know, record label people and, and industry guys wanted to take advantage of us because if there was a quick dollar to be made, they wanted it. Yes. And basically, because we didn't agree with it, because it was not a fair deal. So, I mean, we got lawyers involved, everything. Now, obviously, we're glad to be out of the, that. And glad to say a new album coming out October 7th. Our single's number 45 on the charts right now and climbing. And uh, we're excited to kick off this tour. And uh, I wouldn't doubt it if you don't hear us on Octane again very soon. Awesome. So, yeah. so uh, tell me a little bit about the tour. You guys are starting here tonight yep. in the great Salt City of Hutchinson, Kansas. I, I was going to say that because I kept seeing Salt City. <laughs> yes. I kept thinking Salt Lake City. It's like, no, but so they call this Salt City yeah. then, yeah? We, we have like a salt mine here. Okay. Like um, they have... The original copy of Gone with the Wind is, really? is oh, down sure. there. Interesting. Um, there's a there's a Superman suit from one of the movies that's down there. Wow. And, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. The tour is great, and we're happy to start here. Um, uh, we've never played here before. We've done like Salina and Manhattan. Yeah. I remember that's when you and I talked. Yeah. Um, so I think we're just going to have a hell of a show. I mean, what we do is something totally different. Um, you're not going to see drums, and you're not going to see a bass player on the stage. What you're going to get is the comp. Yeah, I know, right? Now that's that. Now that sounds weird at first. What you are going to see though is the combination of a rock show combined with an EDM show, a rave style type show. So in play, imagine this, in place of the drums, there's a huge DJ booth. Lasers, lights, bumping that shit, yo. And then up front you got me and him switching off vocals and guitar, and it's really, it's something we feel is the right way to do for us. Um, you know, I mean, to me personally, a lot of this rock music is, I mean, it's boring oh, and yes, old, and who gives a shit about yes. it? Yes. You know what I mean? How many times can we hear dun, 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 dun? I mean, honestly. So it's like, I'm not into that anymore. We've totally, we've just gone in a new direction. Our single, The Struggle, right now, is struggling at rock radio because it's so different. But the station that I picked it up, it's reacting. Um, so we're just, like I said, number 45, and this is totally something different, and we feel this is the right way to go. That's new cool. age style. That's cool. I mean, look at a group like 21 Pilots, let's say. Love them or hate them, yeah. it don't matter. They're selling a million records. They're selling a million records, yeah. and they're everywhere. First right? artist since <laughs> Elvis and the Beatles to have two songs in the top five of the Hot 100. Um, that's two guys. To me, it's not about seeing a guy drum, and for us, it's about the tunes yeah. and the, the vibe we can put off on stage uh, in that type of environment. So, I guess we're going to see what happens tonight. That's we cool. haven't played it live yet, so, uh, well, yeah, so this will be the first yeah, time. We've, we've rehearsed for the last couple of weeks. Working out the kinks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. what, what a way to do it. Right, first right. Night of the tour. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, we've rehearsed the last couple of weeks, but uh, tonight will be the first time we present it in front of a packed house. So. Yeah, that's cool. First and time. I, First time playing guitar, too, for me. It's only oh, seven months playing. So there's all sorts of fun things. Yeah, there's all, of, all sorts of, of shit. Of cool so if you want to see yeah. some interesting <laughs> shit, I'd say tonight's the place to, to the place to see it. So, yeah, so, sure, uh, so, so tell me about the, the tour. Where you guys are going to be going, some of the different... I know tomorrow we're in North Platte, Nebraska. Yep. And then I don't, I don't know. Um, and then after that... Uh, uh, Saturday the 17th, September, we're in Spearfish, South Dakota, which is our hometown. 
Um, we're sure to pack the house, I would assume. Uh, radio, uh, like I said, a lot of radios really picking up, especially Spearfish. After that, we are in Omaha, Shamrocks on the 18th, take two days off. Go to Dubuque, Iowa. Shout out to KGRR there. Um, no, then we go to uh, fuck. Cedar Rapids. So we're, we're hitting uh, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Moline, Illinois, Rockford, Illinois, and a town called Braidwood, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. So it's kind of cool because those last five dates are an hour apart. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. And we, well, I, we have a studio in uh, the Quad Cities, Iowa. So every night after the show, we're going back to our house we have there. And it'll be nice and easy, kind of. That's cool. In a way, so. Well, see, when you're going down the list of tours, the list of places you're going on tour, it, it sounds like a combination of uh, rock shows and old professional wrestling tapes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny is that I remember, uh, just since you said professional wrestling, I remember asking you because uh, when we spoke, it was just after Brock Lesnar beat The Undertaker yes. Street. <laughs> And I remember asking yeah. you your thoughts about it. Yes. Did you uh, did you see the CM Punk fight? Oh yes. What did yes. you think about it? I, I seen the almost CM Punk fight. Yes. <laughs> yeah right. Uh, I I I I really think he needs to go take a check and be in the Tokyo Egg Dome for New Japan. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I really think he needs. I to I wanted him to win. Up. I was rooting for him, but. It just kind of shows you right there. He's a two-year guy. Well, the thing that yeah. I just couldn't understand was the, the lead-up to this thing. He was such a cocky asshole. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, really? Did you see the weigh-in? He didn't shake his hand <laughs> and stuff. Stared him down. Hand. Yeah. I just, yeah. It, it's, it's too bad that... Yeah. It's just the way it is. What are you going to do that? Well, hey, I, I have to say, I you know a lot of people are saying, I do respect that he went it's into the oh, octagon. Yeah. And for fuck's sake. I mean, I've done a couple MMA fights. They're not really? Fun. Oh, I've done that. But hey, if it's like two minutes, 14 seconds, we're paying you half a million dollars, I'll get my ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. Right. And it's funny because the guy who won, he only got 30 grand. Oh, yeah. He got 30 grand. <laughs> right? Yeah. Compared to that big payday. So. Um, at least he made out with some dough, I guess. That's right. Yeah. Now, uh, you guys are... are what, what, what does it, without giving away all the secrets, what does it take to get something like you guys put out onto like serious radio and things like that? Because there's local artists that are just trying to get local radio to right. their stuff. Right, right. It's basically through the connection we had with the, the label at the time. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, and no. even now, it's, uh, it, I mean, it's it's really about all who you know, and yeah. I guess like how we did it at first, we did get kind of lucky because Octane was the first station to play us before yeah. local radio, aside from our hometown. So we were lucky enough to have um, one of our tracks do extremely well there, and they had us in... Oh, they played the shit out of Oh, yeah, oh. over 3,000 <laughs> spins, I was, man. I was... Uh, I even I, got tired of hearing they, it. They have, they have Octane on in, in the gym that I work out right. in town. And every time I was in there, it didn't matter what time of day. Yeah. You guys were on at yeah. least once within the two hours that I yeah. was in there. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, I guess it's a thing, you know, they had us up there in New York City in their studio to do one yeah. of the takeovers, you know, we get to meet all those yep. guys. Um, so I guess it's just kind of a, a relationship type thing. Since we've been around, we've toured, we've hit these radio markets. So when we put out a new track, a lot of these places are excited to play it. Again, some places, because our new single is a lot different. It's more alternative. So some stations are kind of leery, but they're all starting to come in. Like I said, number 45. We're hoping to break top 40 in the next two weeks, which we will. Um, and then, you know, we're looking at the next track. We're going to go a heavy octane uh, push. And, uh, and again, to them, it's really all about if the song is good and it fits the format, they'll support it, man. And the, you know, what I like about them is that they are ahead of the curve. They're, they're not afraid to play something a little different. And who knows if the struggle doesn't make it on there. You never know. So, That's pretty yeah. cool. In the but meantime, uh, yeah, just do our homework and tour as much as we can and kind yeah. of build back the empire. And we're just, you know, we're lucky enough to have a kind of foundation where we can come back to these places and people are excited because we haven't been around. Yeah. They remember the tracks. We've had two new singles out now do really well. And uh, we just build it from here and grow it organically as That's much cool. as possible. So uh, how do you use social media and all this stuff to help market? Uh, it's one of the biggest, man. I mean, uh, from, from sponsoring posts to boosting, your reach is almost... You know, social media is almost, in terms of marketing, radio will never take away from promoting yeah. a local show. Yeah. Um, in terms of letting everyone know when we're coming, where we're at, if they want to watch us in the studio, these live videos they do now. Yeah. We, we tracked one of the tr uh, vocal tracks of his on live. The Facebook live. And when people can come oh, in and ask we, questions, we, totally. We, we do the shit out of that yeah. Facebook live. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. amazing. Isn't that reach amazing? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just by hitting the live button, man. It reaches. I, I, see, these, I see these guys like Glenn Beck who have a national radio show and own a damn television channel. They're around to be on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. It's amazing <laughs> it's what they do. Yeah. So it's definitely, if not the most important, it's up there along with the, yeah. I guess, and especially in our situation, the combination of the touring tied in with the radio and tied in with the social media yeah. that's pretty much how it's done so yeah. that's pretty cool yeah. what about that Nightcore stuff maybe? oh and I wanted to say this there's these uh, anime channels on YouTube they do these versions of songs called Nightcore may have heard of it maybe not and it's basically they take your track if they like your song and they put it to some anime image and they speed the track up so it sounds a little higher pitched and our new track The Struggle we got uh, 225,000 streams this week. So we're hitting a quarter minute. We're getting about 50,000 a day right now. It's the third most searched night core in the entire world right now. So, And again, and again, like what you're saying in terms of social media, there's all these other platforms. Like this night core thing. They speed the track up so it doesn't sound exactly like the track, but for fuck's sake, if I couldn't tell you that the sales have actually boosted from these YouTube channels. He's got, I think, 370,000 subscribers. Um, the track's at a quarter mil almost in the first week so that just gets the word out there and look any way to get you know people listening and platforms like that it's fuck yeah. Cool. yeah definitely well thank you gentlemen before I let you guys go why don't we find you online find us at blacklightdistrict.com L-I-T-E Facebook same thing Twitter at official BLD our new album To Whom It May Concern comes out October 7th Give that shit a pre-order. Let's get this baby on the charts. Once you pre-order too, you get three tracks right away, and then there's obviously Instagram too. That it's Blacklight L I T. Yeah. Let's go. Pre-order. Let's get let's get this motherfucker back on the charts where it belongs, yo. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey man, thank, thank you. you.